What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and Spider-Man No Way Home is dominating the box office right now. It's about to be in the top 20 biggest movies of all time, and that's during a pandemic. You have to wonder, if we weren't in a pandemic, could Spider-Man No Way Home already have been in the top 20, top 10, maybe even the biggest movie of all time already? Unfortunately, we'll never know, but it's doing fantastic, and spoiler Spoiler warning, I will be talking about Spider-Man No Way Home spoilers in this video because we're going to be talking about Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. We have some more talk today from people over at Marvel Studios that supports the fact that Tobey and Andrew could be getting some major screen time in some upcoming Marvel projects. In fact, they could even go on to be in some projects together again. Today we have some news from the writers of Spider-Man No Way Home, Chris McKenna and Eric Somers, talking about an alternate Spider-Man No Way Home post credit scene involving Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, one that we didn't get to see but almost did. And they also go on to talk about some ideas and pitches they've had for Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man down the road, which is great news. This means that Marvel Studios is considering keeping them around and not just using them for this one-time cameo for both of them in Spider-Man. Spider-Man No Way Home. So let's dive into what the writers had to say in a recent interview about Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. And of course, if you love Marvel and want to stay up to date on the MCU, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So in an interview with Variety, Spider-Man No Way Home writers Chris McKenna and Eric Somers revealed that there were other plans for a different post credit scene involving Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's lives in their own universes. Now, in Spider-Man No Way Home, we heard a tiny bit about what happened to Andrew Garfield and his universe after The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Tobey Maguire and his universe after Spider-Man 3. We heard a little bit more about Andrew's life than Toby's. Andrew said that at one point he got bitter. He stopped holding his punches. He got angry. And it sounds like he got pretty violent. Meanwhile, Toby McGuire Spider-Man revealed that him and MJ made it work. They're still together and he's still Spider-Man and he's still trying to be better like he told Doc Ock. And that's kind of all we got. And I know a lot of people really wanted to maybe see a glimpse into their lives. What has happened in their universes after their last movie. Movies. Well, there's some good news. We still might get that down the road, and we almost got that in a post credit scene. The writers revealed that there were, at one point in time, plans to continue Tobey Maguire's and Andrew Garfield's story in the post credit scene for Spider Man No Way Home. Now, they say continue the story, so I'm assuming what they were going to show us is Tobey going back to his universe and Andrew going back to his and showing us what happened during that time. So this probably wasn't going to be a look into the past and what has happened since their last movies, but showing them when they got back to their universes, almost giving us a glimpse of what could be coming for them as far as story-wise. So for Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, what we probably would have seen is him going back to MJ and perhaps maybe even a daughter or some kids. We would have gotten a little glimpse of what Tobey Maguire Spider-Man had been up to, how he's living, does he live in a big house, does he still live in a small apartment, is there a new villain that could possibly be coming, could Doctor Strange maybe have showed up and said that he needs his help for Multiverse of Madness, who knows? Unfortunately, we were kind of robbed of this scene, I actually would have personally really liked this post credit scene more than the Venom post credit scene. Or I could have even lived without the Multiverse of Madness teaser trailer because we ended up getting it like two weeks later after the movie released. And then we have Andrew Garfield Spider-Man and we don't really know anything about what he could have possibly been up to. Now, we know that at one point in time, MJ was supposed to come into the scene. She was even going to be played by Shailen Woody and they actually shot some scenes that never made it into any cut. But he did mention to Toby during the movie that he didn't have a woman. He didn't have any time, but perhaps this conversation with Toby could have changed his mind about things because Toby told him not to give up. He told him that it was hard for him, but they made it work. Then not to mention he saw how happy Tom Holland's Peter Parker and Zendaya were together and saw how much they cared for each other. So this combined with what Toby said could have sparked a little bit of romantic interest back into his mind about MJ. So perhaps we could have seen him go back to his universe and perhaps we could have seen him get a different perspective on life and Spider-Man. He said he got bitter and stopped holding his punches. Well, perhaps he won't be so bitter anymore and perhaps he'll go take a shot at MJ. 
Perhaps he decided that it is finally time to move on from Gwen because he had his redeeming moment. He caught MJ. He saved her life. He redeemed himself. So perhaps he can finally move on. And based off what the writers further said, it sounds like we could have a chance to actually see that happen. Since Spider-Man No Way Home's release, insiders like My Time to Shine Hello and Daniel RPK have stated that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield could be returning and that they actually do have plans for them to return in multiple different projects. And a big rumor right now is the Amazing Spider-Man 3 could happen. Of course, it's not confirmed yet, but given Andrew's performance in Spider-Man No Way Home, I think a ton of people really want this to happen now. In fact, I hear there's a petition going around now to make the movie happen. But here's what the writers had to say. When teasing ideas that the team discussed in regards to this movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, Chris McKenna admitted that he would love to see their stories continue saying, I would hope so. I would love to see more of their journey. We even talked about, oh, we could do a post credit tag with this one. We could do a tag with that one. Basically stating that they talked about a lot of ideas of what they could do with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Eric Sommers even joked around that they had this idea of the two of them teaming up in some type of TV show. The two of them going around in a van solving mysteries together, kind of like Scooby-Doo. He said, can we do a TV show with the two of them traveling around in a van solving mysteries? This was an actual idea talked about at Marvel Studios and Sony. And McKenna added, like, no, you weren't supposed to say that. We're doing a Toby and Andrew in a van going from town to town. Of course, he was joking about him not being able to say that. But the biggest thing to take away here is that ideas for Toby and Andrew have been discussed over at the studios. Now, the two insiders that I mentioned before did both state that Toby is not going to be getting another solo film, but Andrew might, and this makes sense. Toby Maguire is much older now. You could tell in the movie that he was much older, but Andrew Garfield is still a young guy and has a lot of life left in him. He could easily do another solo movie, or he could even team up with some other people like Spider Gwen, or he could be Sony Spider Man in their own universe. He could go on to fight Craven the Hunter, he could go on to fight Eddie Brock and Venom. There's lots of potential there, and he could even be used in the MCU. That's kind of a really cool thing about this here, is that the universes can kind of be switched, because with the multiverse, anything is possible. And Toby has been rumored to be in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness for a pretty long time now. It's not confirmed yet, but according to recent reports, Marvel Studios is considering bringing back Tobey Maguire for some other projects, and maybe Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is one of those. And I'd love to see him in that movie. I'd love to see him, really, in any other movie in the MCU. I think it would be really awesome. I think they should keep him around. And I think ultimately, years down the road, everything kind of leads to Avengers Secret Wars Battle World, where we see all of the variants of all of our favorite heroes kind of come together in a way and fight all the bad variants. I think the multiversal war is going to happen again, and I think all of the good variants are going to have to get together in order to take down Kang, Doctor Doom, Galactus, whoever is going to be responsible for all the bad things happening. They'll have to get together in order to defeat feed them and fix everything. But that's just my thought. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. Do I even need to ask if everybody wants to see Toby and Andrew again? I think everybody would love that. But again, let me know your thoughts. I'm personally all for it and really, really, really hope it happens. And of course, if I hear anything, I'll be sure to let everybody know. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.